What is going on guys, Triple G here back with another Godfall video and today we're going to be discussing whether Godfall, now that it has been reduced by 43% on the PS Store, is finally worth it to get it on your brand new PS5. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week. Otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So let's talk about why we're here. When Godfall was released on both PC and PS4, it had some issues out of the gate. Some optimization issues have happened on PC and majority of the issues weren't experienced on PS5. However, most of the critics did actually give Godfall a rough ride due to its short story and its very, very limited endgame. Move a few months on and now we have the first real update for Godfall. In addition to that, we have a 43% reduction in price on the PlayStation Store. So is now the time for you to buy the game. So let's read out what they've added to the game since launch. They have added Ascension levels. Now lets you power up even after you've reached the level cap, granting you new Ascension powers and Ascension bonuses. And I think that's something that was needed. Primal items, adding a compelling dimension to loot hunting, injecting a massive buff to the item's primary trait as a new loot modifier. You'll be able to view the impact of these effects with our new detailed player stats screen. Tower of Charles has also received a huge overhaul. Both regular and ascended versions of the tower received a substantial overhaul and expanded the content including fresh new objectives, better rewards, greater challenges and a surprise event that will force you to adapt and test your builds. That's, well, that's something that's really important. I noticed straight away that when we were going through the Tower of Trials, you could get through, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 levels, have a huge time investment, but actually not get a lot for it. This increased difficulty will definitely make good use of your new Ascension levels and Primal modifiers. There will now be Ascended Tower of Trials and Normal Tower of Trials. You're going to now have to pick Banes, which essentially be negative modifiers. But if you do pick these negative modifiers, you're going to increase your chances of better loot. The Ascended Tower of Trials has also been heavily condensed. So it's going to be just 30 levels now with a number of keys that are condensed into that as well. They've also addressed the Dreamstone system, which has undergone extensive changes, including improved loot targeting and increased Electrum rewards. Now, if you remember, Electrum was what you needed to use to unlock the Dreamstones and you could find yourself fighting to do the resource. You don't want to be in a game where you can't play the end game because you need resource and you can't cycle through that to do it again and again and again and again. You want to just be able to play the end game once you finish the story without having to bother with any of that. They've also added a vendor called Zenum Shopkeeper. Now this is really interesting because one of the things that was a struggle before was that if you wanted a specific item or a specific sword for example for your build you had to completely rely on RNG. Now there's going to be a shopkeeper here where you're going to specifically be able to go and buy loot. In addition to all of this as well they've also made a ton of quality of life changes which you would have expected now as the game has been out for a few months. So the big question now is is it worth buying Godfall if you haven't played this game before. Well, here's what you can expect. You can expect a decent story. It's not going to blow your mind away or anything like that, but it's a decent story. You're going to get a brilliantly designed game. It is fantastic. It's good looking. The armors are brilliant. The end game has now been improved. So expect to get a more condensed experience than you would have got at launch. One of the biggest disappointments I had with Godfall was the armors themselves didn't actually give you any new characteristics. This doesn't look like it's been addressed yet, but with more expansions due to come, it may be that those armor pieces that come down the line will actually give you a different class, a different feel. Most of the different armor sets at the moment just apply a different status effect. So bleed, poison, etc. didn't really set you apart and you didn't really feel like like it was a massive different class. So all in all, if you're on PS5 right now, I would definitely recommend the game. It's going to be cheap. You're going to get a beautiful looking game. Just don't go in there expecting to be blown away by the story. That's not going to happen. But if you like actual, you know, fighting, counter fighting, this game's mechanics are really solid and it's set in a world that's absolutely beautiful. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.